Hey guys, it's me here, and today I am here with my friend Raina. Hi! And she has a channel called 3Ps. It's really awesome. I'll give a link down in the description below. So today we're going to be doing some DIY Halloween treats, and it's going to be really awesome. I found all these ideas on Pinterest. You guys can look those up. They're really easy. Hopefully I won't fail at them. And let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so... The first treat that we're going to be making are these Halloween bat bites. So what you need for this are some Oreo Thins, some mini Reese's, and some black or brown and white frosting. And this is just for like the eyeballs on the bats, but you can like buy those eyeball decorations if you want. Okay, so everything is opened. So now for every Reese's that we have, we're also going to take an Oreo, cut it, in half. Okay, so we're just gonna get a cup like this and a frosting. All right, so now we're gonna get just a normal sandwich bag and put it into the cup and pull the edges down like that. Okay. And just get some of the frosting into this bag. Just like that. <laughs> so you just cut the tip. And you're all set. Okay, so now I'm just going to glue the Oreos onto the Reese's using frosting. And you're gonna wanna put them on at a slightly upwards angle so that it looks like a bat's wings. I'm just gonna put the frosting on the other side and just repeat with a second Oreo half. So you're just going to want to make the eye kind of on like the inside of the Oreo. And so since we're using frosting, we just tried to make one big white circle on the inside of each. Just like that. And then here's a toothpick to kind of clean it up a little bit. So right in the middle. And I find what works best is just to go in the middle, squeeze pretty hard, and then just pull up. And you get a pupil. And they're completely homemade. Even better. Should we try one? Yes. Okay, so just have our little bat bites right here. They're so cute. Just gonna eat them, I guess. <laughs> That's really good. I like that. <laughs> Oh, they're so good and they're mm -hmm. so cute. I love it. And easy. I definitely recommend this. Yes, these turned out really well. And they're really good for Halloween parties too. Okay, so our next treat is going to be a couple of different styles of Halloween pretzels. So you're going to be needing some 
whiskey pretzel. We are going to need some candy melts. So we got white and green. And you can also use orange. We're just going to dye our white orange since we couldn't find any. Yeah. But so you basically just need white candy melts. The last thing you're going to need are just a couple of microwave safe bowls or cups so you can heat up your candy melts. Okay, so we're going to start with our white candy melts and just put them in a big microwave safe bowl. And then we're just going to put it in the microwave for on 30 second intervals until it's completely melted. Okay guys, so we went ahead and made a few uh, pumpkin. And here's how it looks, here's how the frosting looks when you dye it. It's not ideal. Yeah, so as you can clearly really tell, it's really thick and like I heated it up and the temperature's not a problem because our white one is still like perfectly smooth and everything. So, um, so we use like these water-based, I'm pretty sure. So I do not recommend that. Try to find the right colored candy melt. Yeah. So now we're just going to make some zombies. So we're just going to fold our pretzels into green. Just like so. And now you can just take them out. And place them on a plate. And then afterwards, we remove all the excess candy milk, from the edges and everything. Yes. Yeah, so we're just going to make some little green stems for our pumpkins using the green candy melt that we use for our zombies. For the zombies, to make the eyeballs, you're just going to fill in the top two holes with black frosting. And then just put white circles on top of that. So it's like an inverted eyeball. We just finished our pretzel treat, so I'm going to go ahead and try a pumpkin. And I'm going to try a ghost. Okay. It's, it's so, so good. good. I don't think that they're the cutest ones that we made, but they definitely taste really good. Mm -hmm. These are really good party foods, too. Thanks for watching my video, guys. I hope that this was helpful to you. And if you tried any of these, just leave a comment below telling me how it went. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see more videos like this. Don't forget to subscribe to 3P's awesome channel. And I'll see you guys next month. Bye!